Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd. Happy E3 week, everyone. E3 is officially underway. All the major game publishers and game companies had their press conferences. The show floor is open. Demos and first looks are going out. E3 is here. <laughs> Games! <laughs> I want to talk about something that Xbox announced during their press conference a couple days ago that I thought was pretty interesting. Xbox One, starting this fall, will be backward compatible with Xbox 360. You'll be able to play Xbox 360 games on the Xbox One. This, of course, was to combat with this whole PlayStation service that they're coming out with where you're going to be able to stream old games, but you have to pay a monthly service fee for it. So Microsoft gave them a little jab. They were like, you don't have to pay for the games that you already own. Oh, snapshots fire. But I did a little bit of research. They have a page that talks about it and explains everything about it. It's not as clear cut just put an Xbox 360 game in and start playing as it may have sounded when they did it in the presentation. So I wanna get you all up to speed. What you need to be aware of before you go sell off your 360 and all your games to GameStop and then get your Xbox One and be like, what? The program has already launched for Xbox preview members and people I guess can send invites to each other if they are in the program, but the program will be available to everyone starting this fall. How it works is if you bought something as a digital game on Xbox 360, and that digital game is allowed to be played on Xbox One, you will see a ready to install button next to that game when you log into Xbox One, you just install it, and boom, there you go. That 360 game, digital copy, is now on your Xbox One, ready to play. If you own an Xbox 360 game, if you have the actual disc, you put the disc into the Xbox One, it will recognize it if it's an approved title, then it will download a digital file of that game, and then as long as that game disc is in the Xbox One, you'll be able to play that 360 game on Xbox One. Now I have to make sure I stress that. It doesn't download the file and then you're good to go. You still have to keep the disc. It's like a, a reader, like a connector type of thing. It recognizes the disc with the digital file. So as long as the disc is there, you get to play the game. So if you have an Xbox 360 game, you put it in Xbox One and it's approved and it downloads, don't sell that game. You need that game disc to still be able to play. Xbox Live Gold is not required to use the backward compatible service. You'll still need Xbox Live Gold if you wanna do multiplayer and in the online features, but actually just being able to get the games not necessary. You'll also be able to use any of the Xbox One features on the Xbox 360 titles, such as game DVR, screenshots, streaming. It's gonna work just like Xbox One games for all the approved Xbox 360 titles. Now you notice I keep saying approved Xbox 360 titles. That's the part I don't think was very clarified, but I think needs to be understood. Only approved Xbox 360 titles can use the backward compatibility service. The publisher has to approve it and of course go through whatever work it has to go through to make it available. It has to be part of that approved list. If you have an Xbox 360 game and you love it and it's your favorite game of all time, but it is not on that approved list, you will not be able to play it on Xbox One. They're saying that about 100 games are gonna be available at launch. Now, of course, they're gonna be trying to add more titles and they're probably gonna be working with third parties to get as many Xbox 360 titles on the service as possible. It's pretty safe to assume that you're gonna get most of the Xbox 360 first party titles and probably the most popular of the third party titles or whatever ones they make available. I think it's pretty safe to assume that you're not gonna get every single Xbox 360 title, but hopefully they put a bunch of these out. I mean, it's not gonna make a lot of sense to have this great service and like 100 games. You need to have as many Xbox 360 titles as you possibly can. So I really hope this is something that third party developers really latch on to. They've already announced that Mass Effect is gonna be one of the titles. It's already in the preview mode, assuming the other two will be as well. The preview mode doesn't have a lot of games right now. It has like Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie, the perfect dark games. A lot of the rare games are in there. Some indie games like N Plus and Super Meat Boy, Viva Pinata. So it's a small list right now, but as I said, 100 will be coming out at launch. What I think will probably happen is a lot of the 360 titles will just start being more and more available digitally, so that if you wanna be able to buy a digital download of it, you can, or if you have the disc, being able to put that in there. I think it's a great idea. I mean, it's not like the days of going from 8-bit to 16-bit or whatever. Everything's on a disc, and even Xbox 360 games or PS3 games or older games, even though they don't look as crisp, it, well, some of them don't. Some of them look exactly the same, if you ask me, graphics-wise. But people still love these games. People who are new to Xbox or PlayStation or any console can still go back and play an old game. That's what's been working for Nintendo for years. You know, people are still buying Animal Crossing. I think it's more important now than ever that you do have some kind of accessibility to older games, whether it's backward compatibility, digital versions, whatever. So I think it's a great idea. 
However, I feel like it's an idea they probably should have had on day one. Do you know how many people would have probably traded in their Xbox 360 and paid full original price for an Xbox One if they knew that most of their 360 games would still be able to play on it? It seems like a almost too little too late type of move. I mean, I'm excited about it that I now can just play on one console so I can, you know, consolidate the clutter. But still, this is something you probably should have did the first day. I think the Xbox One would probably be in a little bit of a better shape or would have sold a few more units if this was available right at the beginning rather than popping in a year or so later. But that being said, I look forward to seeing which games from Xbox 360 make their way to Xbox One. Let me know in the comments what games you hope get added to this service and what do you think of the service in general? Is this something that's gonna make you buy an Xbox One or is it too little too late for you? Make sure you subscribe to Black Nerd Comedy and keep tuning in for more E3 videos. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000.